Welcome to Blue Briefing. Our video will look at an important paper in the American Journal of Respiratory and Critical Care Medicine. Here, we discuss sericatinib, a selective CERC kinase inhibitor, blocks fibrotic responses in preclinical models of pulmonary fibrosis by researchers from the United States of America, Sweden, France, and Austria. Idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis, or IPF, is a chronic lung disorder that commonly results in death within three years of diagnosis. The two FDA-approved antifibrotic drugs used to treat IPF, nintetinib and pyrphenidone, slow the rate of disease progression. However, they both have significant side effects and variable responses. Notably, they do not improve IPF symptoms. Hence, developing more effective therapies that safely treat IPF while restoring patients' quality of life is the need of the hour. In this study, researchers explored the efficacy of sericatinib, a strong CERC kinase inhibitor used against cancers in treating IPF. The study used an innovative, disease-agnostic, computational, biology-based approach to identify sericatinib and its transcriptomic connection with IPF. This was further supported by preclinical models testing the antifibrotic efficacy of sericatinib over the other two drugs. This included in vitro studies in normal human lung fibroblasts, in vivo experiments in murine models of pulmonary fibrosis, and ex vivo analyses in precision cut lung slices from mice, human IPF patients, and healthy donors. As a result, the researchers were able to identify new CERC dependent fibrogenic pathways, such as epithelial mesenchymal transition, immune responses, and extracellular matrix reorganization. They found sericatinib to be equally or more effective than nintetinib and pyrphenidone in reverting these pathways and abating other symptoms revealing the potential of sericatinib as not only a therapeutic for IPF, but potentially as a more efficacious treatment of this terminal disease. For more details, please read the article by Dr. Farida Ahangari and colleagues. Thank you for watching Blue Briefing.